Hello. So as of now, for your homeroom guidance, you have already answered three modules, right? So those three modules are good for actually for um, the weeks uh, one to five already. And this module is good for week six to seven. This is called Multiple Career Development Pathways Toolkit. All right. This is going to help you choose your track and explore the career pathways and opportunities that you have or you will you are going to have like for example of course you have your choices right uh, from the track that you want uh, so this modified learner's pocket of the multiple career development pathways toolkit is designed for you to have meaningful learning opportunities and experiences for guided and independent learning at your own pace and time. You will be enabled to process the contents of the learning resource while being an active learner. The following are some reminders in using this learning pocket. So you must handle this with care. Uh, you must not, of course, uh, put unnecessary marks and you have to use another sheet of paper when answering the exercises. Um, you can use short band paper and do, don't, do not forget to answer each part and of course you have to reach, uh, you have to read the instructions carefully and you have to finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. And you have to be honest and have integrity and you have to return your exercises and activities at the submission date that you're going to tell you. And if you have questions, difficulty in answering the task in this material, you do not hesitate or do not hesitate to consult me as your advisor and always bear in mind that you are not alone. All right? So you can do this. All right? So this tool five or what we call week six is this uh, SHS career interest uh, clusters. So what are you going to do? So this is very easy. But before that, we're going to read the background. It is important to work on something that makes you feel happy and productive. Making a career decision is not an easy task for, your, uh, for, for you as students, right? And you have to gain enough knowledge and information so that you will know your, your career in the future. So in this session, you will... Uh, know the possibilities and options for your interests, for your talents, and for your values. All right? So what are you going to do is to choose the career cluster that interests you most. So how are you be able to, go, uh, to, to do that? So as you can see, there is cluster A, cluster B, and C, D, E, F, right? So again, it's A to F clusters. So you have to shade the hearts in each group. Again, you just have to shade. Like for example, me. Um, let me see. For cluster A, I like to picture things on my mind. So I will shade that. Um, I'd like to perform, yes. I'd like to work with my hands, yes. But let's see if, what about cluster B? I'd like to be an athlete someday. Um, no, so I won't say that. Um, I do, uh, I watch sports events. Mm, not too much. Sorry, I won't say that. <laughs> let's see for cluster C. Cook and do kitchen activities. Mm, yes, I would shade that. So anyway, please do shade each uh, thing that you'd like to do. Uh, remember to go over with all the I'd like to, I am, I am interested in every aspect of each cluster so that you will know your highest score. So after that, you have to just count the number of shaded hearts that you have. And then when you are ready, uh, done with that, so we are going to know, of course, which is the lowest uh, shaded hearts that has been shaded or the highest number of shaded hearts, right? And you have to uh, answer the following questions. The first is, so, ito bang activity to help you plan your future career? 
Um, I know that you already uh, know or you already know your track. And most probably, you already know na, ay, kaya ako nga ako nag-ABM, kaya nga ako nag, uh, nag-STEM because you already know kung ano yung future ka rin na gusto mo. Pero, syempre, meron pa rin sa inyo na hindi nyo pa rin talaga alam kung ano yung future ka rin nyo. But this time, this, uh, this uh, activity will help you understand kung saan mo ba talaga or ano ba yung gusto mong gawin. Um, number two, what other information do I need to help me make a career decision? Ano pa nga ba ang iba, mong, ang iba pang dapat mong malaman at dapat mong maintindihan so that you will or you can pick uh, a good career decision? Number three, what is the importance of crafting a learning plan that suits my career preferences. Bakit nga ba ito mahalaga? Bakit ba kay, ba't mahalaga may learning plan na tinatawag? So, after that, so, bag niyong uunahing sagutan, syempre, yung susunod na week, right? Syempre, mauuna muna to. Why? Because you will use this on the next Uh, activity. So, what is the next activity? Each career cluster represents inclinations and interests that align with a particular senior high school track or strand. So, yung shaded hearts na yan ay may kinalaman kung anong strand. Like, for example, academic strand ay na gas. That's cluster G. So, if you want to go to college, pero hindi mo pa rin alam yung academic tra- track to pursue, kasi di ba, you are still allowed To, to choose whatever uh, college uh, course you'd like to take. Tama ba ako doon? So, ibig sabihin, there are still decisions on your mind kung saan ka talaga. Now, kung nakikita mo dito, cluster A, ay, arts and design ka pala. Cluster B, sports. Cluster C, technical, vocational, and livelihood. D, accountancy, business, and management. E, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. F, humanities and social sciences. And G, general academic. So, ano nga ba? Pag, if you, pag pinili mo yung top three na marami kang shaded hearts, you're gonna write here, ba? Diba? And what is the potential job? So, para makatulong din sa inyo so that you will know the potential job, mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo yung will. All right? But ito yon yung career will. Ito yung reflection natin. So, to help you decide on the future career and kung ano yung track na gusto mo or pathways that you are thinking, again, you're on the specific track already, I know. But still, on college or during your, ano, your uh, first year on your college uh, days or life, syempre, ganun pa rin, pipili ka pa rin talaga ng specific, ba? Diba? Specific na gusto mo pa rin na track. Especially, kapag yung track na pinili mo is like, pwede sa iba-ibang classing, sa iba-ibang classing uh, course, right? So, ganito nga yan. When you look here, um, like for example, I'm going to, yan, lakihan natin. So, ako ay, kunyari, ay ABM. Let's see. ABM. Ang sabi dito, potential career is going to be sales clerk, office clerk, administrative assistant, bookkeeper, sales representative, and cashier. O, yan. Right? Tapos, in the business potential or business world, you can be a business owner, wholesaler, or retailer. Wow. ba? Diba? And... Potential career for this one. After college. Oh, ito na. Natin. Businessman, entrepreneur, marketing manager, college instructor, economist. Ah, oh, di ba? So, you can see already kung ano yung magandang mangyayari for the, your, your career. Now, sa palagay mo rin, bakit kaya ito mahalaga? Uh, una sa lahat, iniiwasan din natin yung yung pinag-aralan mo is hindi mo magagamit. Tama ba? Kasi the the reason why this K-12 program started after all is because for you to already know in, in this specific and certain age already na talaga kung anong saang specific ka mag-focus. 
the more you know about the certain shack you're in and the more uh the more uh facts and ideas that's on your mind, the more it will be helpful for you to grow in such field. Alright? Like, for example, sa akin, dati, um, tama naman din yung track ko in such a way na I know na gusto ko talaga is communication arts and I, I want that ever since. Um, come to think of it, hindi naman malayo ang communication arts in terms of teaching because what I teach right now is our English subjects anyways, di ba? And most of the time, I am using that kind of uh, preparations and, and pag-explain sa inyo using what I have learned in college. Although, although, may iba pa rin siyang field hindi katulad nyo na you're, you are going to be prepared agad kasi may specific na agad talaga na, na strand na nakakapag-prepare sa inyo. Hindi katulad ng kapanahuna namin, right? Tsaka, meron naman kayong time to decide as well, alright? So, let's look, ano, uh, let's look at the will, another one. Let's try STEM. For example, here. STEM is going to be medical representative, therapy assistant, electronic uh, technician, CP radio technician, aid, laboratory, medical secretary, and then so if you have a business, you're going to have an electronic repair shop, cell phone repair shop, motor repair shop, and then potential careers, teacher or instructor, uh, scientist, IT specialist, medical practitioner, engineer, o, diba? Um, as you can see, most of the time, kahit naman anong field, especially kung meron ka na dun talagang uh, uh, kaalaman, you can always naman magturo din talaga. Uh, maging instructor someday, o, diba? Uh, may it be sports, may it be kung ano mang career strand. Yan ang nakikita ko ngayon sa will na to. O, diba? Yan. Now, anyway, I hope this will help you to love your strand more. And if not, is para mabuksan ang utak mo talaga at saka puso mo kung ano ba talaga by heart ang talagang field na dapat nandoon ka. Alright? So I hope you have, will have fun answering the, this uh, homeroom, uh, homeroom uh, activities. Alright? This MCDP toolkit. Alright? Bye-bye.